Hello, family and friends. A question for you. What would you do when you know that you're speaking the truth while everyone else around you uh, speaks completely opposite thing? You know, the end of uh, the book of Numbers, chapter 13 and 14, is where Moses and Joshua and Caleb go against everybody else in the camp. After 12 spies came back, um, 10 spies gave absolutely depressing, miserable reports about the promised land. This is what they said. We came to the land to which you sent us. It flows with milk and honey, and this is its fruit. However, the people who dwell in the land are strong, and the cities are fortified and very large. And besides, we saw the descendants of Anak there. The Amalekites dwell in the land of the Negev, the Hittites, the Jebusites, and the Amorites dwell in the hill country. And the Canaanites dwell by the sea along the Jordan. Before we judge them, we have to remember and understand that they lived in slavery for over 400 years, which means they saw themselves as powerless, weak, unfit compared to others all the time. In fact, later on, we know that they said, you know, as they were talking about uh, the Nephilim, they said, we are like grasshoppers compared to the Nephilim, the son of, sons of Anak. And, you know, that may have been true to them. But how many of you know that, you know, what is true in the natural is not always the truth in the kingdom of God? You know, you see, whatever we believe to be true always becomes true to us, even if it's a lie of the enemy, or even if it um, seriously limits our, our, our view, our, our understanding of our reality that we're in right now. And ultimately, it will affect our vision, our attitude, our uh, emotion, our decisions, our strategies, and all these different things in those situations that always leads us away, not closer to God, but away from the destiny that God has for us. You know, God prepared the prom promised land for the Israelites. And he, he was ever so faithful to them along the way through numerous signs and wonders and miracles. Everything they experienced up to this point was not just about getting what they needed, but it was about God reminding them who they really were in the kingdom of God, in their kingdom identity. And it was only Joshua and Caleb who not only understood, but embraced the truth of God, embraced the truth of who they were in God. Now they said in chapter 13, verse 30, let us go up at once and occupy it, for we are well able to overcome it. And again, in uh, 14, uh, 6, Joshua and Caleb, you know, they tore their clothes because everyone was saying, you know, it is better for us to go back to the Egypt. And, and they, in hearing all that, they tore their clothes and said to everyone, the land which we pass through to spy it out is an exceedingly good land. If the Lord delights in us, he will bring us into this land, give it to us, the land that flows with milk and honey. Only do not rebel against the Lord. Do not fear the people of the land, for they are bread for us. Their protection is removed from them, and the Lord is with us, so do not fear them. When you walk in the truth of God, you start walking in a supernatural courage, supernatural confidence, wisdom, strength, you know, um, as, as Joshua and Caleb did here. You know, every supernatural things become natural to you because God is naturally supernatural. And as you become like Him in every way, you become naturally supernatural in your love. You become naturally supernatural in your generosity, in your creativity, in everything that you do. So where do we begin? We begin that in daily lives, we ask the Holy Spirit to Reveal the heart of God in a situation you're in. Ask Him about God's plans and purposes in those specific situations and ask Him what He has already made available for you so that, he, so that God can be glorified. Then in faith, follow Him, obey Him, trust Him, and see what God can do in and through you. Amen? Let's pray. Father God, in every situation, we trust you and we will follow you. We want to live our daily lives as Joshua and Caleb did, trusting the truth of who you are and the truth of who they were in you. Let us not walk in fear, 
but in faith, but in love, but in creativity, but in wisdom, but in uh, uh, courage. Because you are with us, and you are with us today, and you are going to be with us every single day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you.